Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 5 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about running Cucumber test with TestNG. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 4 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. So let's please try to do it as much as possible. TestNG TestNG is a testing framework designed to simplify a broad range of testing needs from end unit to integration testing. So there are different kinds of features available in TestNG compared to JUnit because in our last videos we were discussing about running test in JUnit. So we are going to run the test with TestNG this time because there are so many features in TestNG available like running test in parallel. I mean, it's very easy to run test in parallel as compared to JUnit. So you have something like different kinds of annotations and it is thread safe, flexible to test configuration and you can specify all the tests in an XML file and support of parameters and so many things, right? So this is why TestNG is so popular. We have exclusive video of TestNG in our Selenium Automation Framework Development video series of Excel Automation channel. So please go ahead and watch there. So as that said, there will be some change in our project as well, right? Because this is all new framework. So the code change in our existing test runner class is going to be looking something like this. So the only change which you're going to make in our existing test runner is going to be this. So as you can see right now, we are extending a class called abstract test ng cucumber test right and there is no run with attribute anymore because we are extending this within what is called with an abstract test ng cucumber test right and once you're done you're all good to go and then of course you need to add the dependencies for cucumber test ng and test ng so we have to add these two as well so i'm going to do two things the first thing is i'm going to add the dependency and then i'm going to change our existing test runner class to make our test run with testng. So let's quickly see this in action and perform test using testng. So for that I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we have been working in our previous videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add two dependencies. One is the Cucumber testng dependency and another one is the testng dependency. So currently we don't have both of them yet. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste over here so for this dependency so this is going to add the dependency for us and you can see that it is resolving the dependency and it has added it and then we also need the test ng dependency so i'm just going to search that and the dependency is going to be this so let me copy and paste it over here there we go so i have added these two dependencies i'm just going to save it so once I come back here for the test runner, so this is the test runner that we were working in our previous videos for the J unit, right? We had an attribute called add run with cucumber class and we just gave the cucumber option for the feature and the glue and it is working fine. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment out this line of code. So once you comment this code, you're not running with the J unit right now, right? You have to specify the test runner so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend the abstract test ng cucumber test class right so once i extend this right now we can see that we have a test symbol in here to run the test so you can run the test ng test right now so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run the test ng test so i'm just going to right click and run the test ng test runner class so this will run the test ng test this time rather j unit so you can see that oops we got an error here so the problem is because i have wrongly added the versions right now so 1.1.5 cucumber test ng should support the latest version of the uh, of the test ng so you can see that the cucumber test ng this one has 1.1.5 but the test ng i just copied the 6.9.10 right 
So what if I copy this and let's paste the latest version. So right now if I try to run this test, let's see what's gonna happen. Hmm, it's not running. So maybe what I can do is I can just fall back to the previous version here, 6.9.1 and this one maybe I can turn it to the latest version which is nothing but 1.2.5 and let me save this and once I go back here to the test runner run the test you can see that right now it is opening the Firefox browser and it has performed the operation so everything is working fine and the test got passed as well right so this is how you can run the test with test ng instead of running test with j unit so we have not touched the execution of what is called as running with the xml file yet because as you can see the test ng xml file we are running is in from the temporary folder rather the one which we specify so we can talk about all these options in an advanced course of the selenium framework development which is going to be coming soon so you can see that particular videos available in the advanced courses right not in this particular video series so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day